guy goes to the shows. In case you don't know, the shows is um, I, I take it what they meant was the the um, when I don't know what would you call it the fairground comes to town. No, the circus though. That's just because that's all I had. King George V Park Glasgow. The lorries would come across there and then turn down here and they would go through there, there, and then take a right and that is where the shows would be. Er there. The fuck is that? What's that? This is on you. This was the here. This was the fucking here. This was the Coke factory. Would break into it. Um, I never actually done it that much. You, you don't break in. The, the left pallets of Coke uh, lying about. This whole place was the, the Coke factory. It's Can Wadrick up there anyway. This would be a big factory and people would go in and th th there'd be pallets of fucking, like, Coca-Cola lying about and people would steal it. We got caught once. One of my, and one of my pals gave his name uh, as uh, another one, our pals. It was funny, I thought, he, he said a name. Um... And I thought it was a funny sort of name that you said. And then I found out that's actually the name of my um, other pal. It's funny. Anyway, so so the show is... His second name was Gibbons. The one that got caught was something Gibson. And he said, uh, when he was asked his name, he said something Gibbons. Like I was right next to him, he went, Gibbons, um, and I was kind of like, I thought it was kind of funny. And then I found out that it actually is his fucking name, you know, the, the, the other, somebody else's name. And I did know his fucking surname, Gibbons. No, no Gibbon, no Gibbon. Gibbons. Like the plural of a fucking Gibbon. I've never fucking seen that surname anywhere else. I thought, I thought he made it up. I thought he just made it up. Like, he's changed his name from Gibson to Gibbons. So he's not going to get away with that. Gibbons, that's, that's like the plural of a, a, a Gibbon. I found out that's fucking... What's his name's surname? Anyway. Ewan, thanks for the bits. Good for you. Warpath. Thanks for this, uh, the sub. Um, guy goes to the shows. Craig was gone for a cycle down where he used to live, which was here. As he was cycling past, he noticed that the fucking shows were there, the way they used to be. And he thought, here, I'm going to go here. He thought, they won't have the motorbikes. They used to have the motorbikes, but you just don't see them anywhere at things. <coughs> Health and safety thing, probably. Because the whole thing is, it's no safe like the waltzers. The whole thing is, it goes fast run and run with a chance that you might fucking fall off. But he went there. He thought, I'm going to go there. I'll probably get, I might get recognised because Craig was pretty fucking famous. Really famous, well loved. He went in and he wasn't recognised. And a wee guy went like that. 
Brian, have you got 10p for Karate Champ? And Craig was like, Brian? My name's no Brian. And he looked at a mirror. There was like uh, funny mirrors and stuff like that. He looked and he had turned into a wee boy. He was a wee boy again. Except it wasn't him. He was um, the child version of another famous person for Glasgow called Brian Lemond. He's like, I look like Lemmy, but we, am I him? How's this happened? I guess I just better go with it. And he went here, and it was like Karate Champ games for the 80s. He's like, um, he looked in his pocket, and he had 10 pence, big chunky fucking thing back then, big chunky thing. And he went, there and he watched as this uh, other boy played karate champ and Craig uh, but in this instance Brian as a child went do I know you are we like buddies Craig wasn't from America but he was heavily influenced by um, Americans online and was really keen to, to change the way that he spoke as a Glaswegian to the way that Americans speak in order to fit in and be regarded as sort of international and outward looking rather than uh, parochial and subject to maybe sort of ridicule and accusations of small, minded, small mindedness and maybe being thought of as cute but no one I kind of Uwu sort of way, but kind of funny. You know, like looking down on, you look down on that person for having their own silly wee words. Uh, and this other wee boy about like that. Wait, what are you talking about? It's me. Gary and Craig, but Brian in this instance went like that. Right, I think I'm gonna go for a walk because this is like I'm gonna go for a walk. <laughs> and he started walking about. Just then. Uh, an older boy came up to him and went, come here, look at this. Um, and took him in the corner and there was um, a generator thing. A generator. He, you know, he put diesel into it and it generates electricity. And he said, look, here, pull that cable it and I'll switch everything off. And Craig, let's just say Craig went like that. No... Uh, I, uh, sorry, why? And the older boy went, like, why, is, why, is, why are you speaking like that? Speaking like what? And the older boy punched him. Craig thought, I think I'm going to go now. But he went past the motorbikes were there. And seeing the motorbikes, I don't know if you know, but... Um, what's it called again? Speedway Ride Fair. Aye, there we go. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Oh, aye, that's it. That, aye, faster. Faster. Excited. Aye, faster than that, though. Faster than that! Faster than that for fuck's sake! 
faster than that. And he noticed that everybody was wearing clothes like this. And he's like, wait, it's like I've travelled back in time, but something's like, something's, it's like almost like an AI time travel thing where it's got it all mixed up. People who wore clothes like that didn't have rights like this. Just then, another older boy came up to him like that. Were you fucking looking at? And Craig went like that. You're... You're... You're not talking about me, right? And, and the whole place, there must have been about a, a few hundred uh, people, all started stabbing fuck at him, uh, Craig. And... We each stab. Craig got older, so it it, it started transforming for this uh, uh, boy. Let me gradually, which we each stab, started looking a bit older, and more like Craig than than uh, than this. And then he started walking out of there like that, <laughs> like they just left him and watched him as he tried to walk away like. That. <laughs> Covered in blood. And then he got hit by a lorry. And then somebody came out, took his face off, peeled it off while he was still alive. Peeled his face off. Then uh, got some plugs. And instead of stoning on the plug, they pushed the plug into his feet. Beheaded him, and then um, beheaded a dog, and stuck Craig's head onto the dog dead quickly. So it, so it, it, it took, so it took, so the body accepted it. So if you date quick, the body of the dog will accept the human head. If you date quick, if you, you got to date quick though. And Craig spent the rest of these days as this dog. The end. <laughs> there you go. He spent the rest of these days as that dog. Yeah, yeah. So it's a wee happy ending there. He spent the rest of these days as that dog. And do you know who that dog was? This is an epilogue that's actually a true story. And do you know who that dog was? That dog was uh, this. Thanks. Ignore the title, please. Uh, the, uh, he lived out the rest of his life as the old dog here, the old one. Getting annoyed fuck at her by the other one. Let's watch it again. The human heat, it turned into that. That is that that was the state of Craig's face at the end of the stabbing. So fortunately actually nobody noticed. Because his his face was that fucked, it, it looks like a bloodhounds.
That poor old Doug. He probably did it himself. He probably did it himself when he was uh, younger. 